And we know that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went through three years of hunger. Him and his followers sacrificed just because they wouldn't denounce the religion. Just imagine fasting, and inshallah we've all fasted before, fasting and having absolutely nothing to break your fast with. They said that somebody offered a meal to the prophet, wanted him to come over the house because they saw the signs of hunger on his face. Imagine being so hungry, people can see it on your face. The trials and tribulations that we go on, uh, that we have on a regular basis, just imagine how those things would be magnified if we had nothing to eat. These are things that we should think about Not to make us sad or to uh, make us feel bad or feel guilty or anything like that. But just to up our appreciation of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his sacrifice it should strengthen our love for him and how much he he gave up just so he can make sure that we got the message in this beautiful religion and it should first and foremost increase our appreciation of Allah and increase our fear of Allah because that is also important. At any point, this can be taken away from us. Why we weren't in the situation of other people, why he didn't test us like he tested other people, who knows? All we can do is thank Allah for that. And appreciate even the little things that he gives us. So every time we we grab that 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 slice of bread or even take a sip of water, think a lot. Think about it. Ponder deeply. A lot of people would fight tooth and nail just just to have a piece. And make us not of those who are in excess or who waste make us people who who give all because of our appreciation because we don't have to have it so I pray that Allah keeps us amongst the rightly guided and continues to bless and protect us in the whole Ummah as we navigate through this earth and through this life. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.